The Honors Program is very important to Edinburgh University because it provides an opportunity for students who perhaps don't have the finances but have the intelligence to um, excel. Being in the Honors Program makes you realize that there's more than just the Honors Program on campus because you meet so many different people from so many like walks of life that you get interested in what they're doing through the Honors Program and then you want to join more clubs. So like there's a free healing arts club that I found out through a girl that's in the Honors Program. There is biology clubs, nursing clubs, any type of art clubs, like anything that you could possibly want to do, there's someone in the Honors Program that can help you get into it because they know what it's about. Um, as Honors Director, I work very closely with the students to guide them to reach their full potential. We have a well-rounded program here where the, student, the Honors students have many, many opportunities for academic experiences. So there's different internship opportunities and I have shadowed at a few UPMC hospitals. Also, the Honors Program broadens the opportunities by offering study abroad programs. And I'm actually going to Africa in summer 2016 for a month with our zoology teacher and Edinburgh and the Honors Program offer scholarships for it. So it's like really helpful that you are informed about stuff like that. So one of the things that we have added to the Honors Program is um, having our students present at conferences and helping to fund them and raise the money so that they can do that. And we've had for the last few years students going to the National Collegiate Honors Conference and, and present their research and it's been very, very exciting for them. This is 5,000 honors students from all over the country with all different honors programs. Uh, Megan came up with a project that she was doing with Terry McKelvey over in art. Uh, she was very interested in some of the mathematical laws of perspective and how they related to artistic principles. In that project, I basically made two paintings of the same still life, and one was meant to be viewed from one foot away from the painting, and the other one was meant to be viewed from 15 feet away. And in these paintings, I basically used math to figure out the linear perspective involved in making them. Guiding students to reach their full potential is, is a difficult thing and, and one of the, the best things that we can do as educators is to find those things that really motivate the students. Uh, in Megan's case, she really wanted to do something that contributed further to her ideas and her development as an artist, to how these different ideas interacted, the mathematics and the art together. And because that was something that was very interesting to her, she did a lot of really hard work, um, figured out a lot of, of different things that were very difficult. Uh, and I think she learned a lot from the project. I learned a lot from the project. It was very interesting. I, I enjoyed getting some perspective and hearing about some of how the art comes into this, as well as the mathematics. I feel like by being an honor student, I've gained the chance to really look at things in a more interdisciplinary way. Uh, because I wouldn't have had a chance to do my math and art project if I wasn't an honors student. I also got the opportunity to present at a national conference, which I certainly wouldn't have done if I wasn't an honors student. What, one of the things that's exciting about the honors program is that we have students from every major on campus and they're working together, they're doing creative things together every day. Um, they're creating projects together and it's been marvelous to have, have that experience for them. That's one of the things that Honors provides.